So basically we have developed a smart bike lock uh, that can be installed on any type of bikes. So it's mounted on the bicycle and then people can start a bike sharing fleet in just a few minutes. So it can be a, a company or it can be a city, but it could be also private people sharing their own uh, bicycle. So one of the things about micro mobility is that there's a lot of uh, kind of hardware costs just because a lot of these bikes get damaged or stolen. So, you know, at what point did you think that this was something that you could create a company around? So basically we, we think that uh, these companies that bring all these uh, bikes that are all the same in all the world is the wrong approach. There are already uh, tons of bikes that are already out there from private people. Um, and so basically we bring a, a lock that can be installed on any bike and um, it's much more sustainable to share bikes that are already in the city. But you, do you want to work on the marketplace side yourself or you're just focused on the hardware right now? So we focus uh, mostly on the hardware and also on the mobile app and the monitoring software. So we are an enabler to, uh, to make easy for people to start their own bike sharing fleet. Basically. Geographically, where are you focused right now? So uh, we are based in uh, Switzerland, uh, where we start, uh, we have a pilot project with the city there. Um, and we want to expand in, uh, in Europe, firstly, and later on go uh, to US when the US will have understood that uh, they need to go green as well. Yeah, so I'm curious, you know, in San Francisco there are a lot of jump bikes and, you know, Uber has these designs where there's like, you know, this massive part on the back that locks the back tire, but in the rest of the world are they using a lot of existing bikes? Is that, is, are our marketplaces doing that? So it's kind of a new approach to really use existing bikes. There's not a lot of experience on this uh, part. How, how does that work though? So are, are, for these platforms, are they just giving their bike to them? Because if you want to use your bike all of a sudden, it's on the other side of town. So uh, in the platform, you can decide whether it's a totally free floating system uh, or whether there are stations where the people need to bring back the bike. So it could be in front of your home or at the train station or at the place where you often go, such that you can find it easily. What, what's next for Airbnb? What's, what's your big focus down the road? So now we are really working on the industrialization of the lock, so to be able to produce in very large quantity at a cheap cost. Cool. Well, Chris, thanks for joining me up here. I appreciate you uh, chatting about Airbnb with me. Thank you very much.